Hey guys, what's going on? This is Riello. And Sashimi. And we are here on January 7th to talk about the brand new Monster Hunter Rise trailer that, well, actually the stream that Capcom uh, just did today is a live stream discussing all the new features that they are willing to discuss with us so far for Monster Hunter Rise. So, uh, for those of you, this is really just kind of a highlight and an opinions piece. So, if you guys just kind of want to know what's going on uh, in a shorter amount of time, then you're in the right place. Let's get rolling. So first off, they went over locales. We've actually got a couple of new areas to explore. Let's start with the locales. We just showed off the yeah, this one is icy. I See there's like a Dragonator spear sticking out of the ground there? So this is actually going to be uh, a set of islands that are in a frozen this tundra area. And they said it's going to be, it, it used to be a nest of dragons that heroes came to and they were going to slay the dragons and couldn't, so it's going to be an area steeped in lore and, as they said, atmosphere. Look at the endemic line. So we got a crab now, we got like a flying set of flying fish, oh, Lagambi has returned by the way. We got this like creepy looking spider thing that can spit webs at him. Now, this is the important part. This is what everyone is interested in here. Let's we've got new monsters. monsters that live here. Right off the bat, this they go over our Goss new buddy, what the, new the Goss Harag. At first I thought he was like a like a, a jacked up Aoshira. He still kind of <laughs> looks like that. Yeah. Yeah, he definitely uses the same skeleton. I'm curious if he can like dual wield those uh, blades. Speaking of the blades, that's what he's doing right here. He can actually freeze his limbs and turn them into swords. So he's going like all Terminator T1000. And yeah, I'm willing to bet you're right. I'm willing to bet he can do that to both of them. Yeah, I haven't seen him do it yet, but I'm curious. We do have a couple of monsters returning. For the tundra, it's just not the tundra unless you've got Barry off. Mm. This is one of my favorite monsters. I'm glad to see Barry off his back. I figured he would be. Yeah, I like Barry. Yeah. But I'm still glad to see him. I like that wire bug recovery that you can do now. You can actually get up right away using the wire bug. Next up we have one I'm not so hyped for, but I know a lot of people are. Look at that smile. He's like, I know you guys missed me. Nope. We've got Kezu. He's honestly one of my least favorite monsters, but he is one of the most unique. I don't care for him. I would have rather Giggy. At least Giggy's got cute little feet. Oh, Giganox? Yeah, his little hands. Who knows? We may still see Giganox. It seems like they're trying to squeeze as many monsters as they can from across the generations. So. Next up is Great Baggy. I actually always enjoyed fighting Baggy. I swear his pompadour used to be bigger. Maybe? I don't know. In the game, it still looks the right size. In that picture, though, it didn't look quite right. I don't know, I'll have to look up how he used to look. I swear it like, went past his face. So for those of you who aren't familiar with the Great Baggy, he's a pain in the butt. He's one of the drones. Basically, he'll put you to sleep. Him and his little uh, little army of blue bastards are going to just put you to sleep. <laughs> and then they will hip check you to death. This is an exciting return here. Lagambi was always one of your favorites, right? Mm, yeah. I always call him a recurse, I can never remember his English name, but I just really like his gear. Like he's cute. Look at his slide. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's a rabbit penguin. What's not to like about him? Hmm. He actually did, uh, as Sash mentioned, he did have a funny name uh, in Japanese, which I actually like better than Lagambi. He mm -hmm. was called Urukusu. Of course, we've got Tigrex back. He seems to be one of the bigger staples of the series now. They made him look really mad. He does look a little... I think they made him... I think they, like, streamlined his spikes. Like, his eyebrow spikes a little mm. bit. I think it just makes him look a little bit meaner. So it seems there are quite a few new animations with the wire bug and the weapons. But speaking of... 
new monsters, or returning monsters rather, Mizutsune. I've always liked him. So for those of you who aren't familiar with Mizu, he was one of the Fated Four uh, in the older games. He is, yeah, pretty much like Sash said, he's a, he's a, what'd you call him? A bubble ferret. A bubble ferret. So he basically runs around like a ferret, like Sash said, and it throws bubbles all over the place. He's got a couple of different bubbles that have different status effects. They will make you slippery and make it more difficult to move around easily. And then he'll blast you with water cannons or hip check you. Or do ferrety things to you. He was never that hard to fight. And I wonder if they're going to make him more difficult. Mm. Game, yeah, he could use a bit of a buff. Mm. So we finally get some good gameplay on uh, Magnamalo, the new monster for Rise, the flagship. And the fire effect is cool. Oh, the purple fire does look really cool. It's like a spiritual kind of fire. I like his tail. His tail is like a... Uh, it's like one of those... I can't recall the name of it, but one of the, uh, the Japanese spears. Oh, what? A nag Naginata? Something? Yeah, like a Naginata. So he's got a highly armored uh, carapace that they were talking about. And he's got the tail as well as the fire, so he looks really cool. This is the brand new feature that I'm really excited about. This is probably the biggest thing to happen to Monster Hunter in a while, is wyvern riding. Yeah, that looks so cool. It looks like you can actually uh, direct where they're going, like you're riding them. Yeah, you can actually direct where they're going. You can also tell them uh, to attack. You have. It seems like while you're riding them, you have really, really tight and almost complete control over them. Because see here, they actually dodge very off the attack and counterattack him. Man, that's going to be so fun. I can't wait. I'm curious to see how they balance it out so that's not mm -hmm. a broken feature. Yeah, it does feel a little broken. I have a feeling it's just not going to be something you can do for very long. So moving on from that, they are they do go on to show on the characters with names. And that dude right there, I have to say, is probably one of my... He, he seems like one of my favorite Monster Hunter characters ever. We'll start off with Fugen. We now have characters with names again, unlike Monster Hunter World, where everyone was just a title. He is deeply trusted and respected by the villagers. Fugen has excellent hair, everything. Like, his head is perfectly framed. We've got Minoto and Hinoa, the twins that are going to be helping us out with all of our quests, as well as uh, songstresses. They do some singing, so they're bringing that back from the previous games, too, where you could go and... I hope they have a theater in this one where you can go and actually listen to them sing. Remember in, in Try and um, uh, Portable Third, they had the theater. <laughs> yeah, you could listen to the songs. We've got Yomogi. She's the person in charge of the food this time around. I'm kind of sad to see it not be a cat, though. Yeah, it's been a cat for a few games now. Oh, Hojo. This dude. <laughs> what, what's the dude he's riding? He's on a baby, what appears to be a baby Tetsukabra. Mm. So freaking cute. His name invokes PTSD from my Final Fantasy VII days, but his looks are amazing. Master Utsushi, this guy is going to be one of the lead hunters. Um, he's just probably going to be mysterious. Kind of help you out. Yori's got to be best boy. He likes animals. Look at him. He's in charge of the companions, so that means animal rescue, safety. Well, he puts them in danger, but they can handle it. Yeah, he trains them good. They good. Kogarashi, we finally have a, a focus on a fighting palico, which is new. He's in charge of deploying the he leads the Meowcenaries, who are going to be the new uh, the new group of sending out Palicos so they can bring you back stuff. I love his curly tail. And this is Rondine, Rondine here is a trader. She's going to be coming she's in on the boats. Uh, she's going to be like the, the what's his face that came in on the boats in the previous game. Yeah, I was just game. trying to think of his name in the Hakama. Uh, he always had like broken Japanese and his stuff. Where you can try out weapon I can't remember his name. I don't know. We now have a multiplayer training dummy, so yeah, we can really actually cool. get in when multiplayer. And if you can see in the back there, there's actually bullseyes and stuff going around. So a lot more training for like bow gunners and pretty much every weapon type. We'll have more to share on the rampage. The they did discuss the ramp. Well, they, they mentioned the rampage. They still aren't giving us any new information on the rampage. Mm -hmm. uh, they said that's coming up in the future. And then outside of that, they go on to talk about uh, product information, which is really just they were kind of going over 
uh, DLC, when it's coming out and everything. And then after that, they did mention the demo, which is coming out today, which is January 7th. So if you're watching this after, the demo should be out and will be out until February 1st. So if you want to try the game, go try it. There is going to be a demo, uh, a level, yeah, a training level in the demo for the Wyvern writing, so... If yeah, they'll make sure try. So yeah, if you're curious to try try that, then they're gonna let us know. They go on to talk about the amiibos and everything. Um, no huge collector's edition though. I'm kind of I'm kind of sad. Because they're anxious to tell you about the demo. Yeah, why not? I was really I'm really I was really looking forward to possibly getting some maybe well, Switch Pro information, maybe like a Switch like Pro with uh, like a Monster Hunter themed one. But oh, yeah. the director of the game. Hello everyone. I'm Yasunori Ichinose, the director on Monster Hunter. Here they go on to talk about the demo. So in the demo, you're going to be able to pretty much explore uh, a few of the areas. Um, I think pretty much everything's going to be in the shrine, the forest. Yeah, that area looks so pretty. It does. It looks gorgeous. It's incredible to me that this is a Switch game. So the beginner quest they're offering us is going to be against the Great Izuchi. The other quest, the advanced one or intermediate, is going to be against uh, Mizutsune. I didn't expect it to be Mizu again. Yeah, I'm, I'll be happy to fight him this early on. As I mentioned, they're going to also have a training quest for the Wyvern Riding. But I'm looking forward to exploring and figuring out exactly... Oh, the other basic training quest is about your wire bug. I wonder if they're going to have the endemic life in this? If we can check out some of those buffs and stuff? Oh yeah, that, I think they actually mentioned that was going to be in the demo as well, so... I think they're just going to be out in the areas. I'm excited to check that out. Or silk bind attacks using the wire bug. Then they go on to show some good Aoshira on Aoshira action here. So it looks like it's going to be a really good month for all of us hunters. Um, go and grab the demo today. Uh, let us know down below what feature you're most excited about, what you guys are most interested in. And hey, well, let us know what monsters and stuff you're excited about. Like just what, what's got you hyped for Monster Hunter. So that's pretty much it. There is the time on the demo. It will be available all the way through February 1st. So guys... We'll be covering everything we can. We look forward to seeing you guys out there, maybe hunting with you. We might do some streaming. We're not sure. We're trying to figure out everything. But we will see you soon. Have fun with the game, the demo, and uh, like I said, leave us, down, leave us comments down below on what is getting you excited for Monster Hunter Rise. As always, like, subs, all that stuff is up to you. What we do ask for around here, though, is if it's within your means, consider adopting or, rescue, adopting or rescuing an animal. ASPCA.org, PetFinder.com. You can also Google your local animal rescue adoption and rescue needs options. If you can't bring one home with you, there's other ways you can help out those animals in need. You can also go volunteer and still spend time with the guys, or you can donate money, old blankets, clothes, sheets, office supplies, all kinds of stuff. Google your local shelters, see what they need. Probably got something they could use. Yep, so if you got love to give, love to show, there's plenty of ways to give it, plenty of ways to show it, and unfortunately, there's plenty of animals out there who could use that love. So show them what you got, guys. And speaking of love, we love you. And remember, buy your fun, not your fam. Adopt, don't shop. We'll see you next time, hunters. Happy hunting!